What is going on, guys? Welcome to Quick Picks. My name is Austin Swim with three of my favorite college football bets this weekend. We have some fun ranked showdowns on tap with some teams maybe we didn't expect to be ranked, but that starts in the ACC. The upstart Syracuse Orange traveling on the road to face the Clemson Tigers here. I like the under in this contest, and here's why. These are two solid defenses, both top 20 in yards per play allowed, and they're top 30 defenses in ESPN's SP Plus analytical rankings. And if you don't trust Syracuse in their first four Power 5 games this year, they've allowed six. 16.3 points per game on average. Obviously, we know Clemson's defense is elite, and Syracuse is a pretty sizable dog here to account for that. I do not trust Syracuse's quarterback, Garrett Trader, enough to take the spread here. He's thrown three picks in his last two conference games, but I do like an ugly low-scoring affair. I think Syracuse mostly hangs in there, and this is a kind of a slog in Death Valley. I transition to a game in the Big 12. Kansas State Wildcats, TCU Horned Frogs, not the ranked teams we expected to begin the season, but both of these teams are ranked. I like the Wildcats to win outright here. This is a really cool showdown between a top 10 offense in TCU and a top 10 defense in Kansas State, if you trust those SP Plus analytical rankings. But to me, the difference maker is Kansas State's offense. Adrian Martinez transfers from Nebraska, perfect fit in this offense, 6.0 yards per carry so far. And Deuce Vaughn, ninth in college football and rushing last year, he's on pace for an even better season. And I like TCU to win last week against Oklahoma State. That's because Oak State's pass defense, not very good. That's not what you get with K-State. They're 29th in pass yards per attempt allowed. This spread should stay close all week, waffling around a field goal. To heck with the spread, take the Wildcats to win outright. I think they're the better team and get it done in Fort Worth. From there, we transition to a little bit of Pac-12 after dark, and I'm going to take UCLA here to cover the spread. I'm going to keep riding the Bruins if everyone else is going to keep selling because no one has stopped Dorian Thompson Robinson and Zach Charbonnet so far in that UCLA backfield. It's not going to be Oregon. They're 95th in yards per play allowed. Their defense isn't very good. And to me, the story of defense is Chip Kelly's defense for UCLA. They're 19th in yards per play and 42nd in those SP Plus analytical rankings. That is more than fair after a date with Utah here, and you could, could certainly consider taking UCLA to win out right in this game, but it is just their second road game. Their first one is against Colorado, wasn't very competitive. A travel here to Autzen Stadium, not the easiest spot. I believe UCLA will be in this game late no matter what. I do think they win it outright, and they are for real as far as a college football playoff contender.